Hello, and thank you for stopping by. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button so you can be notified when new videos arrive. Um, I want to talk to you about the elections, and I want to talk to you about uh, different people that have come to me, and they have said that they didn't think Joe Biden was the official winner. Uh, a lot of news places, a lot of news, uh, CNN, MSNBC, Fox, and all them, have called it for Joe Biden. Well, there is a news organization out there called Newsmax. Donald Trump loves them. Newsmax is not, they're not for Biden, let's just put it that way. Um, they, they like Trump, but I'm not going to say they're pro-Trump either. Um, they are kind of Republican based. They're pro Republican. I'll put it that way. Pro conservative, very pro conservative. And that's why Trump likes them. But I used their map. Now, the other day I'd come across an article on Newsmax where this gentleman was talking about, um, about how they had counted up the electoral colleges votes and it shows that Joe Biden is behind Donald Trump. At that time it showed Donald Trump having 250 um, or 260 and it showed Donald Trump uh, by it showed Joe Biden having like 230 or something like that. Okay. Well, this is their map and I'm going to post it right here. If you count up all of the votes, all the blue states if they went to Joe Biden if all the red states went to Donald Trump and you count them up and you count them, you will see that Joe Biden, if I am correct, got 302 electoral college votes and Donald Trump got 235. Biden got 302 and Trump got 235. Now, Newsmax claims that they are the official, correct, unbiased news, and they have not been tainted, and therefore what they say can be counted on. So, I'm counting on them to get me through this because I'm using their map. And it was updated, as you can see, 11 18 2020 at 6 6 26 p.m. That was this afternoon or this evening. It was updated at 6 26 p.m. And this is the whole ball of wax. Everything from Alaska to Maine to Pennsylvania to Michigan to Washington to Florida. <clears throat> It doesn't show anybody getting votes. It doesn't show anybody losing votes. It just shows how it stands right at this moment. And it shows that Joe Biden had won. So if you cannot use this as a way to show who he won, how he won Joe Biden, and how Trump lost. Now, I'm not going to say that Joe Biden's not going to lose some votes. He might. It's very possible that they might have miscounted. It is very possible that they might not have counted some votes and they're finding them. That happens in all elections, just so you know, it's a, it's, it's a, a thing. Because when they declare a winner, there's going to be some votes that haven't been counted yet that won't win. If Donald Trump had been declared the winner and he had been declared the 270 electoral college votes first, there would have been votes for Biden that would not have been counted. That's just the way it goes. It would have been legal. And I honestly don't believe that if Joe Biden and his team wanted to contest the election, I don't think that the Republicans would have been too happy about the con contesting of the election. I don't believe you guys would have offered a, a handout and say, hey, yeah, go ahead, man, we'll help you. Yeah, it's possible that you guys could have lost by accident. It's possible that the elections could have been rigged. Yeah, it's very possible. The uh, Republicans wouldn't have said that. 
they would have took the win and they would have ran with it. But because the shoe was on Joe Biden's foot this time, and they did not expect Trump to lose, and just a side note, I bet you deep down, I kind of bet you that Donald Trump likes the fact that he lost. That's a big weight off of his shoulders. He's going to act like he's upset about it, and he's going to drag this on to make it look good because he doesn't want his supporters to not like him. And he wants the other Republicans to make it. Um, so I kind of I kind of understand. I used to work in the wrestling field, you know, pro wrestling. So I kind of understand how all this goes. And elections are nothing. Uh, the, the elections are kind of like pro wrestling in a way. Yeah. So that's just me. That's my personal opinion on how I see it. Uh, because I, I don't take anything personal. Although I do take America personal, I don't take anything else personal. Uh, anyway, if you have anything to say about this video, please put it in the comments below. Um, also, remember that uh, um, I have cut off the like and the dislike button. So that way, uh, if you want to dislike my video, just put the word dislike down there. You don't have to say anything else just say dislike if you give me a reason that would be great it might help me but if you don't that's fine if you like my video just put a like if you want to put why you liked it that's fine too but uh just put a like or a dislike if you like or dislike my video in the comments below uh if you want to hit that subscribe button please do so right there now remember the map i am showing you is not from google it is not from uh, NSNBC, it's not from Fox News, not from CNN, none of those. It is from Newsmax, the news that Donald Trump likes. And he said that several times. And, and he even talked, he was joking when he said it, but he was talking about buying Newsmax and turning it into Trump TV. You, you'll know when Donald Trump's joking and when he's not joking. When he's being serious, you'll tell. By the way, he says things, but Donald Trump jokes a lot and people don't get it, but I do. I understand. Sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's not. Anyway, I'm going to let you go on this note. Remember, make tomorrow better than yesterday by doing the very best we can today. Have a good evening, America, and all points beyond. <laughs>